criminal justice students at Northern Michigan University got a lesson on retail loss prevention today. They learned about the cost to society of assets lost through internal theft and shoplifting. We start with, you know, whatever, whatever is selling is at risk, right? Whatever's hot is what people want to steal. That's pretty much an axiom. So we need to be able to understand what those trends are, understand how we can protect those, but also get them into the customer's hands. Sears will spend probably close to $150 million on in-store loss prevention payroll. Obviously, that's a huge amount of money that needs to be offset somehow. This is a pretty sensitive topic for most retailers, so most of the ones we talked to today did not want to go on camera. Of course, they don't want to tip their hand on security measures. So here's what they did tell us today, though. Colder temperatures mean people are wearing larger coats, and when they're wearing those coats, that makes it a little easier or more convenient for them to conceal those stolen goods. The holiday season is about to get underway, and that can be the busiest time of the year for shoplifting and for loss prevention staff. The stereotypical uh, shoplifter might be a teenager. However, uh, the experts told us today that they actually have found people in their 80s who are shoplifting. Products that get shoplifted the most are from the health and beauty aisle. Beer, wine, and other liquor products are the second most stolen. And then next on that list is meat and spices. Loss prevention, loss prevention agents don't usually wear uniforms. They want to fit in and just look like an everyday shopper. By the way, 99% of shoplifters who do get caught are prosecuted. 